Good evening, Master Tanaka. Good evening. I am Master Kwanin. I am here always in full joy. I can say I am here with all my energy. Many beings say that this energy that we put here, how can it be recognized if it cannot be seen? How can I know that I'm vibrating at Master Kuan Yin's frequency if I cannot see this energy? I, Master Kuan Yin, say that the way you recognize it in yourself is in what you call self-love, is in what you call the recognition of the respect you have for yourself. Many people say that you can express respect in many ways. They say that respect is an energy. They don't interpret the energy. They say that it is a behavior that you express towards yourself and towards everyone else. I, Master Kuan Yin, say that this interpretation, if it is within God's consciousness, can be followed. But what do I say to everyone? When you establish an energy of respect, looking at a collective consciousness, I say that this energy of respect is not within God's truth. Because when you dive into a concept of respect, as many will look up in a dictionary, this concept of respect is based on a judgment. It is based on a comparison. And I say that this way of expressing yourself that a collective concept can put will not lead you to the expression of the energy of Master Kuan Yin. Because what must everyone have in themselves? You are a being who is manifesting a belief. And this belief is the form in which you are living. But this belief is your energy. And your energy in its essence is God. So when you make this recognition and you decide to express the energy of respect, you put a determination on yourself that everything you are going to do is going to be based on respect for others. Because in this concept of respect for others, what must you be very clear about? There cannot be a demand, there cannot be a feeling that through respecting your neighbor, you must also be respected. What do I always say? Respect for your neighbor includes, in a free way, in a really full way, respect for yourself. But in this flow, a demand is never present. In this flow, the only energy that is present is gratitude. Because respect is an energy. It is a way of being that you express in yourself. Many may say in attitudes, in words, in feelings, but all these that you say here only has a foundation if the basis of all this is gratitude. If the basis of all this is recognition of your true energy. Because expressions in your living make you many times plunge deeply into an illusion. But even this illusion must be respected. Because the respect you have for this illusion is the respect you have for your energy. It is the recognition that you make of the use that you are making of God's energy. The illusion dissipates. Yes, the illusion transforms. Yes, all this occurs because it is an energy. And when this illusion moves, what happens? You, 
through a true intention, make this flow, this illusion, to become a truth. In your life, there is no interference from an external energy. In your life, all that is expressed is your energy. So what does this recognition do? It makes you always have a true intention. And this intention generates a flow. And this flow manifests in the way you determine. Many might even say this intention makes you able to recognize in yourself what you wish to manifest, faith in God and faith in yourself. Because everything you create, you create through faith. So, by controlling this energetic flow, faith becomes more and more present in your life. With much gratitude, I say goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.